In the 1919 Treaty of Versailles, the victorious powers, the United States, Great Britain, France, and the other allied states, imposed punitive territorial, military, and economic provisions on defeated Germany. In the West, Germany returned Alsace-Lorraine to France. It had been seized by Germany more than 40 years earlier. Further, Belgium received Epen and Malvany. The industrial Saar region was placed under the administration of the League of Nations for 15 years, and Denmark received northern Schleswig. Finally, the Rhine was demilitarized. That is, no more German military forces or fortifications were permitted there. In the east, Poland received part of West Prussia and Silesia from Germany. In addition, Czechoslovakia received the Holstein region from Germany. The largely German city of Danzig became a free city under the protection of the League of Nations. And Memo, a small strip of territory in East Prussia along the Baltic Sea, was ultimately placed under Lithuanian control. Outside of Europe, Germany lost all of its colonies. In sum, Germany fortified 13% of its European territory, and one-tenth of its population. Nobody knows exactly where Hitler gained his hatred from for Jews. Hitler used the Jews as a scapegoat. He blamed the Jews for all the issues that plagued Germany. Hitler gained heavy support from his people, who were desperate for answers and leadership. The solution was to banish all Jews from Germany. Germany immediately took action against the Jews, and this led to the death of over 6 million Jewish citizens across Europe. Hitler was a brilliant speaker, and his eyes had a peculiar power over people. He was a good organizer and politician. He was a driven, unstable man who believed that he had been called by God to become a dictator of Germany and rule the world. This kept him going while other people might have given up. His self-belief persuaded people to believe in him. With his charisma, he was able to convince Germans that using stormtroopers to attack Jews and other people who opposed Hitler was a beneficial idea. Many opponents kept quiet simply because they were scared of being murdered, and if they were, the judges simply let the stormtroopers go free. When Hitler began his rise, his country was paying so much money in reparation, they have finally paid it all off three years ago if the League of Nations had made them pay it all off. The country was less than worthless. In the time, it was cheaper to burn money for warmth than buy wood, cheaper to use money for wallpaper than to buy wallpaper, and cheaper to use money for toilet paper than to buy toilet paper. Inflation hit the country hard. The banks had thought it was a better idea to simply make more money to pay the reparation, but they didn't know that doing so would make the German mark worthless to its own people. A loaf of bread cost more than a family made in a week. In all, the turmoil, Hitler was able to rise to the power and blame the money situation on the Allies.